What is going on guys? Fred Alive back with another video and today we are going to Toy Con. We're going to be hitting up Toy Con. It's going to be an absolute blast. I'm searching for wrestling figures. You guys already know. I'm going to try to show as much as possible. Every time I go in there, there's a lot going on. So I'll try to film once again as much as I can. I am bringing a figure. We have the one of 3000 Unmatched Series 6. Brody Lee right there. I, I found this in the wild and oh my gosh, it was, it was thrilling to find this in the wild. But now I'm like... Oh, Okay, I don't really need it. I wanted to get I want to get it to somebody that would actually appreciate it and actually want it. Like no way I was leaving it in the wild. I'm really going to try to trade this figure off at Toy-Con, try to get another figure that I want instead of this one. I'll keep you guys posted what happens at the end and without further ado, let's drive on up to Toy-Con in the Blue Beast. Let's go. Ray Wyatt, guys, Elite 36. Looks super classic. They got a Daniel Bryan right here with the jumpsuit. We're at Miguel's table right now. Miggy reacts on Instagram and YouTube. Diamond Dallas Page, DDP. This and Carl's always been good in my opinion. Super underrated. I found it in a Target a while back. Randy Orton with the blue pants. I love when they gave Randy Orton some color, not just black. Love that blue. Here's another Daniel Bryan. Yes shirt. I have that one. Looks great. Oh, Rey Mysterio. This Ray. I have this one. Super beat up. Super insanely beat up, but it's a crazy looking WCW Ray. Uh, here, oh, Seth Rollins. SummerSlam Seth with the World Championship. When this came out, I always thought it was yellow. Everybody always said it was green. Here's Chris Jericho. List of Jericho, sort of a re release of the GameStop exclusive. SmackDown Live on the side. Here's Roman Reigns with the title. Here's Rusev. It's a Walmart exclusive. Then now forever. I've never been a big fan of that head scan. I always thought the tongue was too big, eyes were too big, but it's still not bad. I mean, this is based off of Mania 31. When he faced John Cena, I think, right there, he's Slater. Come win one half of that SmackDown tag title. I remember being so excited to get that. Oh, Shane McMahon. Look at the jersey I'm wearing. Look at that. Crazy, man. We might have to get it just because I'm wearing this jersey. This was one of my favorite figures when it first came out. Comes with an entire announce table. It's a heavy box. Crazy. Here's Drew McIntyre, pretty basic figure. Oh, there's a Fiend. Awesome seeing him in the box. So cool, bro. I love that. Here's AJ Styles. This was AJ Styles' second ever Elite, Elite 51. Ray Ultimate. Ray Mysterio Ultimate Edition right there. Any luck with the Brock or nothing? Me neither. I don't think they've hit Illinois. One of 3,000 Brody Lee. Yeah. Walmart sucks, dude. Austin Theory. That's the chase. The black. Never. I know, but I'm gonna get it, no doubt. This is like one of the best Randy Orton head scans in my opinion of all time. Ah, uh, with the mustache? Yeah. Looks so good. Oh my gosh. Shinsuke Nakamura. What do you think of Payback? You see it? Yeah. I loved it. I, I thought it was a good, a good it show. It was great. Judgment Day on top. Like, it was. Like, Big E. Yeah, That's still, pretty cool. I don't wanna watch it. Omas. Yeah, Rick, like, bro, you're retired. Come on. No more one more match crap just for money. Ted DiBiase Jr. Looking cool. It's a solid figure. They got a Cena. This is the Elite 3. It's a great figure. Super nostalgic. Awesome. Love the packaging. I know, dude. They should do like a... That's what they should have done for Elite 100. Like, just do that. The classic packaging. They got a uh, MVP. Here is CM Punk. CM Punk Elite 6. Seen that before. Looks awesome. What else they got up here? Oh, Best of 2010 Orton. Sick, bro. That is awesome. Black and blue trunks. There's a Christian. I actually bought the same Christian from you a while ago. Yeah. Same one. Inbox, too. It's cool. Don't the clown. Don't like up top. Oh, look at this. I've been eyeing this. Christian, bro. This is my favorite that I've seen so far. How about a little tradey trade? <laughs> Here's another Orton. I don't like this head scan as much. I think this one's kind of. It's kind of derpy. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, oh, Bludgeon Brothers. These, when these came out, yep. so awesome. Check them out. Love these figures. Like, these were some of my favorite figures when they came out. I got them from Ringside Collectibles. I was like, bro, these are sick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sexual chocolate, Mark Henry with the dumbbell. He should have came with a bench press, too. He should have. That would have been cool. Yeah, uh, yeah that lives great. Oh, that, that figure's so rare. Holy. Yeah. Well, this was the Canadian version. Oh, really? It's not even. The... Oh, yeah, because there's no collector's yeah. edition on the bottom. Yeah. This is the Canadian Liv Morgan, guys. Super ultra rare. And no read up on the back. Right. You can always tell. That's awesome. I was in Canada walking to Toys R Us. They had it. Really? A few years ago, yeah. Dude, you went into a Toys R Us? Lucky. Damn, bro. I want to go into a Toys R Us. Undertaker. Canada. I know, right? Oh, they got a Kurt. Everybody hated on this figure. I thought it was kind of oh, cool. Man, that, that awesome. I know. It's, it's unique. It's unique, bro. Alicia Fox. Oh, there's Rick Martel. Still got the Martel, eh? Yeah. Two Hundo. Not bad, not bad. And a J. There's a one of 3,000 uh, reparted mocks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Commissioner Foley. These are all figures we've seen. Oh, I love this. This is a great series. I like the I like the MVP. This, yeah, the belt buckle's cool on him, too. I love the rock. That's awesome. 
Uh, I got Tori Wilson. This one's pretty good too. Uh, JBL as well. These are all the Ruth's Discretion Walmarts, guys. All Walmart exclusive. So test your luck in Walmart if you guys want to try to find them. Uh, I got Cena down here. Why are you chaining the little chainsaw, chainsaw Charlie, Charlie, bro? Looking sick. That's awesome. This cane is cool. Yeah. I love the colors on that. that Survivor Series cane, bro. Take it. Yes. I love this. I opened mine. I didn't keep the box either. Stupid me. The background is awesome. I know. 30 years. Outrageous. Awesome. Let's check out some of these Lucy's. We're here at Lando Collects Table. You guys already know. Check him out on Instagram. He is the man up in here. Yo, Jay White. That is sick, dude. Awesome. Oh, Brian Danderson. Wicked. Oh, I like the patch. That is awesome. Got the Brian Danderson shirt and patch. Oh, this is cool. Is this Flip Gordon? Wicked. I like the G.I. Joe style. Haters hit, hit harder. That is so cool. See what I did with your pins last time? I put them on my AEW hat. It looks so cool. I should have wore that hat. Bro, no freaking way. How did you do the prime bottles, bro? I'm a secret man, I'm a secret man. What? Bro, that is so dope. Are you selling the prime bottles alone? Okay, so I have a set. Oh my God. Holy dude. Yeah, Lando, uh, you're the man, bro. This dude is the man. <laughs> Check him out, guys. Holy crap. This is sick. Oh my gosh, you did a great job. Wow. I'll be honest with you, I didn't make them. Okay. I gotta find people who do. <laughs> you got the right people. Holy crap. This looks so good. Oh my gosh, totally, bro. Oh my God, yeah, that is so cool. Got the retro ring like always. Got the entrance stage lit up. Ooh, little uh, freaking pinata right there. Lucy's down here, which I- newest one. Oh, newest one, okay. I do have him. Dope, bro. This is the Kip Bash. Oh, That's sick. A, an elite giant figure. With the ultimate so I, shirt. So I swapped the uh, shirt and the head. Sure. Oh, that looks sick, so bro. still got uh, three sets of hands. Yeah. Four sets of hands. That is dope, man. Oh my goodness. William Regal. Awesome, dude. I love your setup, man. Looks so good. Got some pops up top. Here's some ultimates. They got a, uh, Lando's got a Hulk. He's got a warrior. Here's some more Lucy's on the side. Some more shirts. Oh yeah, this is sick. You guys already know I'm picking up those prime bottles. Let's go look at them one more time. Cause you guys know I love that Logan Paul figure. Oh dude. Bro, dude, did you see these? Bro, look at these, dude. <laughs> so this is the whole set. Like all the prime bottles oh, with the Pokemon chain. This is so cool. Oh. And this Darth Maul is sick. From based off the Clone Wars when he was found by I believe Savage Opress. That is so cool, man. I'm not looking to buy any Star Wars, but I still love looking. Just seeing some of the ones they have is just crazy. Leia's cool. It's cool. I thought the Brody Lee chase was cool. Look at this bad boy. We got Sean Spears chase one of 3,000. I've never even seen that in person. That is so wicked. I gotta get a look at this. We'll be careful, we'll be careful. Check this out, guys. This is epic, man. Oh, the colors are so cool. Mick, what do you think, man? I think it's all right. This is epic. The chair's not as cool as the the yeah, um, the one that came with the white logo, yeah, yeah. but it is sick, though. I love the tan on the scarf. Imagine if it would have been cloth. Maze's table, guys, as you guys can see, there's a little space right there. I just bought a figure. I'll show you guys at the end. Stay tuned. Got a little Moxley right there. Owen Hart. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of people finding the chase for this Owen, the blue pants. I've been having a tough time with the chase for that one, but the chase for Mr. Brody Lee. I did find one of those in Target. I have posted a short on my YouTube channel if you guys want to check it out. This is a great Ray Phoenix. Definitely one of the best out of Series 7. Uh, they don't have a uh, Pentagon either, but it is really cool though. Dude, there's Punk at the Walmart exclusive CM Punk. They're done with AEW Punk figures, guys. So if you guys see them, pick them up. I recommend it. There's a little Rob Van Dam, Dolph Ziggler, super underrated figure of the year right Right there nobody's really talking about that i think it's a great figure jimmy uso this one is warming walmart right now it's a great figure i do like it and then this theory with the wacky heads of course we're at maze collectibles this table he is on instagram he's got some of the best deals here at toy con so check him out on insta uh there's a little cody on the end too some star wars that i don't really look at anymore marvel bin guys i got a freaking groot that is freaking sick 
I'm definitely gonna have to cop that. As you guys know, I try oh, yeah. to stay away from other figures that are not WWE, but when it comes to a cool ass figure like that, Groot, one of my favorite Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, look at this Thor, bro. We got lazy Thor, he's fat, he's got the gloves. That is so cool. What's up, my man? Ultron. So wicked. I think that was a build of, I think this entire bin is build of figures. This is a Rhino build of figure, Kingpin. Oh, dude, 80. That's so sick. Here's Ant-Man. This is the Ant-Man giant figure from Civil War, right? Civil War figure. That is awesome. They got a Hulk. Hulk smash, dude. Well, actually not Hulk smash, because this is smart Hulk, so he wasn't mad. <laughs> oh, there's, oh, what was this guy's name again? Cole Obsidian. Yeah, Cole Obsidian, yep. I tried finishing him a while ago, but I never did. Looks awesome finished. Wow. Thanos, I had that. I traded that. Or, no, I sold that recently. Uh, but the Groot, oh yeah, I'm buying the sign out of this. Oh my gosh, you have the plant down there too. This is built? Yeah. Bro, what? This is sick. You got the plant and small Groot. That is so dope. Oh my gosh. That is, oh, cool Star-Lord. Why am I looking at Marvel Legends right now? I just sold them all. <laughs> Hawkeye, Gamora. Where is Gamora? Where is Gamora? Vision. Here's another Hulk. Oh, this Hulk is sick. Dope Hulk. Wow, that's awesome. Carnage, Thor, Son of Odin, Dr. Doom, Silver Surfer. Oh, that's Surfboard. Wicked. Dude, I should not be looking at these. Spidey. That's the... Is that the Homecoming Spidey? Yeah. Homecoming Spidey suit slash Civil War Spidey suit. Scorpion thing. Uh, where's the group? There he is. There's my group. We're holding on to him. We're holding on to him. Nobody's getting him. We got Eric Bischoff. Got that recently. Looks awesome. Chainsaw Charlie. So Walmart exclusive MJF. Oh, 15. What? Cool. I don't have the Walmart exclusive MJF. 15. Dang. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Uh, and then these. I don't really know what this is. Some sort of G.I. Joe. Pretty cool looking packaging. Do like that. There's a loose bin down here. You got a... Oh, I have that figure, actually. I have that Jax figure in box. Uh, need Mattel in here. Let's pick and choose. Here's another Cena. The Jack Cena's used to be cool. They do a lot of cool painted on shirts for him. Uh, there's a freaking Flex Force Sheamus. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, is that is that Dolph Ziggler in the Spirit Squad? There's Dana Bryan. Bray Wyatt right here. I've been seeing a lot of Bray Wyatt's. People are trying to um, give them to people that need them, basically. There's some awesome sign figures up there. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. They got a Sergeant Slaughter right there. But this Bray, oh my gosh, this is so nostalgic. This packaging and this figure itself. Uh, we gotta take a look at some of those. I think it's the same Bray? No, first time in the line. They have a uh, basic series 41. And then this, wait, no, not series, but it just says Superstars 41. And then this one says Superstars 25. And this one's first time in the line. This is Bray's first figure. It's freaking awesome. Oh my gosh, bro. That is so cool. Got a uh, Brutus the Barber Beefcake. That's cool. Finn Balor side. Oh, I could tell that's Finn Balor's real signature. His signature is so distinct. Um, you can always tell when it's his. Uh, who's this Mania 17 figure? That is cool. I like the logo. That is so sick. That is a basics, but that's still awesome. Mania 17 is like one of the best Manias of all time. Uh, that's a cool beret. Diamond Dallas Page on the side. Have that one, but oh, signed Alistair. That's so cool. Wow, man. Awesome stuff. Oh, a loose bin out here? Holy. Let's see what we got. Got a Seamus basic. I used to have this. Cups. Oh, is this Hardy? Bro, sick. Awesome, Jeff. Oh, uh, Captain Rex going on in the box. I've never seen him in the box, guys. There's a Kenobi from the Clone Wars. We got a Gamorrean right here, which looks cool. Bunch of inbox that we've seen. What is up, guys? It's wrestling underscore fan underscore underscore one. Uh, leaving ToyCon today, me and Brett. Yeah. Uh, he got a bigger haul than I did, but uh, I think I got pretty good stuff today. Stay tuned. Um, first, I got this Jay White shirt from Orlando. Uh, always hooking up with the shirts. I mean, today was as many wrestling. He had more Marvel today, mm. but I mean, always having good wrestling. I think he had a uh, Brian Danielson one too, right? Uh, yeah. That one wasn't as cool. I mean, it was plain. It just had the American Dragon. So, yeah, this I one's mean, way cooler. I uh, bought this a while ago, but... Uh, Got it today, finally, because I bought it from Maz. Sure. Uh, 
Chase Theory didn't have nice. it. Wanted it though. It's 25 good. bucks. I mean, for a Chase. I like it more than the regular one. Like the it's, regular has, one's too flashy. It looks more clean. You know, yeah, it, it is. It is. That's that's sick. That's um, sick. Traded an Ultimate Edition John Cena, one of the older ones, for this Ultimate Edition Roman. Mine nice. was like broken and loose when I opened it, unfortunately. Sure. So I was just like, why not? Good pickup. I haven't seen that in package um, in a while. Nice I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. I'm waiting for the new one, but it's cool. I would too. Yeah, you know, right. updated torso. Uh, this guy Lando also <laughs> selling some prime bottles. So These I are a sick. Of them. Why would I buy them? I don't have a little puff figure, so. Oh. But I, uh, but I had to buy them because, like, how many people can say they have a prime bottle? But uh, to get this last thing right. Whoa. What is that? Is that a? That's Cody Rhodes, I think, right? It's yeah, Cody possibly, Rhodes. You know, yeah. I, I did buy this one from uh, Miggy. Watch your fingers now. He had a. Yeah. <laughs> he had it a little bit cheaper than Lando did him. Um, which yo i see yellow i see yellow, yellow i see did yellow you, man did you scam me oh man wait let's see it's not a cody rhodes oh no <laughs> who could this one be <laughs> if it's not cody rhodes dude that is so cool I'm happy i did not have to pay I'll that is sick prices, dude. but i mean bro you didn't yeah you didn't pay that much like compared to ebay uh, yeah, I mean, 200 bucks still. yeah, and exactly. I 125 for this and exactly. custom prime bottles and I'll custom prime bottles, bro. I'll toss these in here before I lose them. For real, that's dope, but, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'd say it's a pretty kick-ass haul. Small haul for me, but I think it was a big one. You know, I, I enjoy it. Quality over quantity, no doubt, bro. Wait, that's a sick one. Say that, say that, say, send this when you get to breath. In the Brutal Lives haul, this toy con was an absolute blast, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the footage that I got inside. First up, I got this from freaking Logan. He said I got it from... Macari. Macari. I got it from Macari, yeah. This is the old Usos, Jimmy and Jay battle pack. I didn't even know it existed. I think it might be part of battle pack series 11. I'm not 100% positive, but this looks crazy. And right when I saw it, I'm like buying the crap out of that. <laughs> Sabu right here, hardcore legend, dude. This is Where'd you get that one at? I got this one from freaking wrestling underscore fan underscore underscore one, bro, obviously. Right here. I think I played like 25 yeah. for this freaking dope looking figure. And it's another one like, as you guys know, I have the giant Gonzalez Jax figure. And I only buy Jax figures when I know we're most likely never going to get a WWE Mattel figure from them. And this is one that I thought of that. So we picked up uh, my boy right there, uh, Sabu. And then, of course, we got Brock Lesnar. Mad about this In one. freaking Logan's face, dude. I beat him to this figure. He's too slow. Easy as that. No. Look at this. <laughs> we got the pants. Awesome shirt. It says eat, sleep, conquer, repeat. Sick figure. It's clean, too. It looks clean. We got Groot right here. And I, at first, I thought this was the Build a Figure, but I guess it's a Toys R Us exclusive. And if you look closely, we do have the Plant Groot. And oh, I didn't even notice that. Yes. Yeah. Look. At All right, I'm end, mad at you for actually getting at that. At the end of the first Guardians, the Plant Groot and so Baby camera. Groot, bro. I didn't, even know, I didn't even know about that. So if I if I had known that, I would have bought it. Groot's like one of my favorite Guardians of the Galaxy. That's my favorite. And I'm not a big fan of collecting action figures outside of WWE anymore. So, <laughs> it unless Wars? it's certain characters like Groot, bro. We got Groot. We've got a couple pins here. I'll just show all these at the same time. We got a little Motor City machine gun. The haters gonna hate. Flip Gordon. This one reminds me of John Cena because of the G.I. Joe look. Pretty cool. I'm gonna put them on my AEW hat. I'll post a picture on Instagram of what I've been doing with my AEW hat. It's like a bunch of different pins that I've been getting from Lando. And we got the custom prime bottles, same as Logan. I'm not gonna spend too much time on them, but they are so freaking cool. And there's a custom chain in there too with the Pokemon. Oh, you paid $15. I thought yeah. it was five. Yeah, 15 with the card, but I love that Logan Paul figure, and I just want to 100% upgrade this snot. Yeah, this Shawn Michaels WrestleMania 33 Elite with the entrance grates. I was gonna figure. say it. What? I paid 20 the... bucks for this. That's Bro, not bad. Crazy man. And uh, yeah, that was the entrance grades gear. Where do you have that figure? Club. And I don't have the entrance grades. I do have the Elite, though. Elite Series 20 Christian right here. Of course, when Mattel was making the Edge and Christian, this was like the first style of like the Edge and Christian tag team that they did. So we got Christian. I already have the Edge with the blue pants. This looks great. He's got the mesh freaking top. And he's got the yellow glasses, which looks freaking dope. I Carter forgot about that Edge. I it, forgot about yeah. that Edge Dude, all edge completely. The pants. It's so cool. Yeah. We got Andre the Giant that I've been eyeing for a while. Maz actually had it. And I only paid 40 bucks for this. The removable cloth. The single is Dude, amazing. And with the extra hair piece, uh, big, like, the short hair, so Sorry, I had to get the airplane in again. And this one's not bad. They are re-releasing this figure really, really soon. But you guys already know the vibe. You got to get every single WWE Elite of all time. Got them right there. And last but not least, this one actually 
came to me. <laughs> Some kid came to the table. He's like, yeah, I'm looking to trade all these figures. I'm like, I don't have anything to trade, but I got 25 bucks on me. So he's like, here's 25. Got D'Lo Brown, Legend Series Chase. 19, baby. Got the blue, got the black. Never saw this in the wild. And it looks completely black on the camera, by the way. <laughs> oh, does it? The only thing blue is the wristband you can see. Otherwise, it looks completely black. <laughs> Decals on the pants. We promise. But, um, yeah, we promise. We promise. <laughs> But uh, yeah, part of uh, Legend Series 19. Oh, now you can see us in the sun. Oh, it's been the September 9th uh, wow. Toy Con Bread Alive episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Fun Toy Con. Uh, we got a decent amount of stuff. Logan, what did you think of your haul? Uh, as a seller, it was great because Dude, I oh, sold a this decent man amount today. It's so good. Dude, tell me a little about it. People uh, are I, had, I, had, I just had a bunch of people here for wrestling today, yeah. which is actually out of the ordinary. It's usually no, yeah. Marvel, Pop, or Star Wars. So I'm almost walk past. Yeah. But I mean, also it helped that you were standing there. There's a lot of people Bread Alive fans. So <laughs> I had them on my table for a good 45 minutes. I, I mean, it had man. people sitting there standing and just looking. So oh, it was a lot of fun, man. They come to the table, people. look at the figures, bro. If we met you, shout out to all of y'all. Enjoyed this toy kind of. If you guys want to follow Logan on Instagram, he is wrestling underscore fan underscore underscore one check him out shoot him a follow uh he's got a freaking kick-ass collection you ever so seen make anything it happen. on his channel Hit yeah up, bro for know. real man uh we're always, always here at toy con like every month we have enjoyed this toy con toy heard a lot and look out